things for flying. So everybody um, put on your pretty outfits. There. Ah, there he is. You do not look like Christopher Lavaro. <laughs> Here we go. Well, welcome everybody. It is noon sharp, so I want to welcome <laughs> welcome you to Plano West Rotary's installation event. I am Alex Johnson, the president-elect. This is a special agenda, so I'm going to turn it over to our Masters of Ceremonies, past district governor Bill Dindy, who has the name of Christopher Lavario on his screen. Take it away, Bill. You're muted. I'm not muted. I think it's something wrong with the audio. Oh. Bill, we can't hear you. There's something wrong with your audio. Oh, it is. Right. Oh. Yes? Yes? Sporadically? Sporadically? <laughs> Technology? How's it sound now? Better. Fantastic. Well, as I said, I may be under the name Chris Lavario, and y'all can call me a lot of worse names than Chris Lavario. This uh, district probably owes a whole lot to this guy who makes us all look good. And I'm grateful to be here today for a very special event. We thought we were going to be doing it in person, but doing it like this, <coughs> a brand new world. And I think a lot of things have changed and never change again. The adaption of technology is phenomenal, and the way people are using it is wonderful. And to see the good work that we're able to do with this adaptation of technology is something we should all be happy for. Our district, and this club in particular, has done a whole lot to step forward with technology to make sure that we keep doing the good work within our world. And I'd like to open up today by starting with the conversations and the brags, because I understand that's what we do here at the Plano West Rotary Club. Do we have anybody with a brag or a boast to share? We had a wonderful Father's Day. Can y'all hear me? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, Corey, our youngest, but he's 34, <laughs> brought over a whole bunch of barbecue. So we had brisket and ribs and- In the backyard. So yeah. We're somewhat in. socially distant. Yep. Yep. <clears throat> Did you bring what extra for us? Now, can we put a dollar every time we brag on something here? How do we do that? Yeah, Vimeo. Send us, send us a buck for a brag. <laughs> but the nice thing is they're free right now, uh, brags are. But when we get back together, they'll, they'll cost money again. <laughs> Lynn, I thought you had other good news you could share. Please share. What's the other good news? I'm thinking. Which one, John? Indian. Oh, Navajo Nation. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, as you might know, Navajo Nation is is uh, really a hot COVID right now. But uh, we're hoping to still get out there once this all gets by us. And uh, obviously, this district put in ten thousand bucks this last year. A lot of it thanks to Richardson, but we also did our part and others. So. Yeah, we're looking forward to continuing with the Navajo Nation as soon as things kind of clear up. That's fantastic. And I think that... Uh-oh. He froze. Well, while he's unfreezing, anybody else have any brags? I do. Uh, take one. I awesome, one. Lisa. Take oh. it away. Sorry about that. Um, I've got four events this weekend. Yeah. Did you see that one? So Lisa, you got four events? I have four events this weekend. Awesome. So. Somebody's rich. Things are coming back. Yeah. 
super excited about that. Definitely, because you had one last week. So you just like I had one, yeah. Tripled it. Great job. Yeah. Cool. Was Dick? Was Dick going to say something? Yeah, I was going to say something. I, I'm going to brag on my youngest granddaughter. She's uh, been accepted to McPherson University up in Kansas, and she's got two scholarships: one for track and one for uh, academics. So it's still, it's still, even with those scholarships, it's still expensive. So we were on Zoom with them this morning trying to figure out how we're going to pay. How are, Congratulations we're gonna help. on we're, that. We're helping pay. We're not paying all of it. Anyway, it was a pretty interesting meeting. You're a good granddad. Yeah, I'm proud of her. She's, uh, she's really smart. And she's the only one of my grandkids decided to go to college. So we're really proud oh, of her. Awesome. Thanks for sharing with us. That's great news to hear. Bill, are you back? I'm here. Can you hear me? Awesome. Yes. Fantastic. You know, I, I love the bragging because you all know, brag about the good work being done and the things that happen in our families. I know that it starts as individuals, then what we do for our community and our family, and then what we do for the rest of the world. And y'all covered a whole lot of that just now. Uh, who else has a brag to share with the rest of the group? I'll go ahead and brag. Can you hear me? Yes. Um, so our daughter, Julie, just got her license, a driver's license, that is, um, after, I don't know, a year, I guess, of driving around as a little, you know, permit driver. So she's very excited about that. Our condolences. Well, thanks for the warning. We live in the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I'm going to tell her to drive down your street, Ike. <laughs> now that's awesome. They get more yeah. independence. Well, it's awesome because she's going to get the show for her 13 year old little sister. Exactly. Also, did you have a brag to share with us today? Ike, you're muted. Oh, <laughs> like me, the lips are moving, but you couldn't hear anything. <laughs> well, I got knocked pretty hard on my head, so I'm I'm just waiting for some epiphany, epiphanies and some new you know new ideas. So I'm sure something positive will come out of it. <laughs> <laughs> so you piss Zane off, and he whacked you in the head. Zane cannot be pissed off; he's too cool. <laughs> <laughs> And we have some new attendees in here. We, we, have, well, we have a number of guests. We have Emma. We have, I can't see the whole screen. Of course, we have Julia Lynn. We have our, our potential new members. But then we have some first attendees. Uh, David Evans, I'm going to highlight you. You want to give us any brags? Because nobody knows you yet, but they will soon get to know you well. Well, good afternoon. How's everyone doing? Um, I guess my brag is, is that we had a, um, I was one of the organizers for the Collin County Juneteenth celebration this past weekend at the Municipal Center in Plano. And it was a successful event. We had over 470 cars to come through and we did COVID testing, diabetes and high blood pressure screening. So it was a very successful event. So that's my brag for today. It's a great brag. We, we drove through the event in support and it was just pretty amazing. Just seeing so many organizations in the community there to help our community in Plano, the Douglas community. Alex, who else do we have that we need to talk about and brag a little bit on? Yeah, lots of people, they're just being shy on bragging. Usually we could go 20 minutes on this. So no other brags. Well, with that then, I will do a final brag. Last weekend, our club contributed, well, go to our Facebook page and you'll see pictures. When we put together that Father's Day goodies project for the 20 dads in the nursing home, we probably gave them three times more than what they were expecting. You'll see on their Facebook page, they gave us an honorable mention and the fact that they couldn't use the little pretty gift bags that they bought. They had to use basically these big, big, huge grocery bags. So it's 
it's pretty awesome. So um, I just brag on our club. Just to let you know the stats on it, we had 25 different people that contributed to that project and 20 of them were not in our club. So that just tells you our community outreach, partnering with the citizens. To me, that's what Rotary is all about. So thank you for our club for kicking it off and thank you for the many different members who are people in this meeting that aren't in our club yet or they just volunteer with us. Thank you very much. Beautiful. And you know, I'm bragging just on being here today for all the good work that y'all are doing as an organization. And I am so proud of John Mosier. John, can we officially call you the district governor right now? Would you be okay with that from here on out? You can call me anything as long as you call me for dinner. Well, Governor Mosier, it's good to have you here. I want to brag on what a great year we've had this year within this club, but what I think is going to be a phenomenal year going forward. But is, as is our tradition within Rotary, we're going to start with a prayer and a pledge. And I know that some of y'all are sitting and some will stand for one or the other, but for those of you who'd like to stand for prayer or bow your head for prayer, uh, I'd like to ask Fred to please lead us in prayer, and then Lisa, lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. And I'll just turn it over to you guys. Well, first I want to say I'm honored to be able to give this uh, prayer today. Uh, that's what sustains me in life, and uh, and I think uh, all of us uh, acknowledge that uh, God is on the throne and he's in control. But anybody who would bow with me, please. Gracious Heavenly Father, we come before you today with grateful hearts and thanksgiving. We thank you for the little things like the rain and the cooler temps today. But most importantly on this day that is significant in the history of the world, we're grateful for the leaders that have brought us this far. We thank you for John Harris or Paul Harris that that established Rotary. But we also uh, acknowledge that Bill Dindy who's with us and John Bozier who's going to take the gavel. We're going to carry us to the next level. We thank you for those in Plano West Rotary that have been so significant this past year in their leadership. John Costas for stepping up and serving his second term. Uh, we thank you for Alex uh, jumping in and uh, sorry about that jumping in and uh, uh, stepping up to be our president this year and Jim next year but we also thank you for those in the behind the scenes and uh, acknowledge that their leadership too and we're talking about the thorns and we're talking about Lisa and we're talking about uh, everybody that's, that's uh, participated in everything that we've done this year you know, big opportunities come around once in a lifetime, but it's the smaller opportunities that that we can make the biggest impact sometimes. So we ask for your inspiration this year and for your wisdom and uh, infuse in us the uh, uh, desire to serve those who are less fortunate and uh, subscribe to the motto of service above self. We ask these things in your son's name. Amen. Amen. Do we have a flag? Oh, there we go. All right, please join us for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, one nation under, God, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Beautiful. It sounds kind of funny when we get the feedback in the different times. It's kind of like we're doing it in a round, but I still love the fact we can all do it here together. And you know, the, as we look for the blessings, life is full of blessings. And I think one of the big blessings is this coronavirus, this pandemic that we're experiencing has, I think, moved forward the adaption of technology at least five years forward. And a lot of us might not have wanted to do this before now, but now we're doing it with our family and our friends and other people. And it allows people like John Mosier, who's in high demand, to be able to be at all the meetings, which was not even gonna be possible prior to this, but now you can finish one and then start the other one. In fact, at 11 o'clock, I had a video with CC from McKinney talking about the trip we're gonna do to India Oh, hope we do, John, because it's where John Mosier wanted to go and the whole world for the Rotary can do. There are, India is number two in the world for the country with most Rotarians, and they do have some big needs.
kids. But John, why don't you take a few moments as our district governor and our fearless leader going forward to talk to us a little about your vision? Well, um, we got five minutes. You got five minutes. Okay. You know what I was going to talk about? Uh, three years ago, when I stepped into this, I never thought we would be faced with what we've faced with today with, with the pandemic. And people really are down. They, they, they wonder what's going on. But let me tell you, this does nothing but open opportunities for us. Uh, you know, back in 1905, when a young lawyer moved to Chicago, he was friendless and he was looking for friends and started Rotary. Took him a great opportunity to do that. 1917, a guy named Arch Klump was looking for a way to do good in the world. And he started what eventually became the Rotary Foundation. And we know how good that is. And, you know, in the 1940s, a group of Rotarians undertook to create the basis of what we now know is the United Nations. They wrote the, the basis of that. And everyone is familiar in the 1980s, the opportunity these guys took to say, we're going to work on polio. Polio was about 10,000 cases a day in 19, uh, about 1985 or, or so. And since then, we've whittled polio down to two countries. And I don't know where we are now, maybe 40 cases grand total between Afghanistan and, and uh, Pakistan. But we've done such a great thing. And now this year, we have such an opportunity to step forward and capture new members, capture new opportunities. And Bill's right. Uh, the the uh, uh, video, we don't have e-clubs anymore. Everyone's an e-club. We're all v-clubs now. We're virtual clubs. We have real life members and we have uh, people who are visiting from everywhere. Uh, we just had a uh, conversation with a guy from the Czech Republic yesterday. So it's a, it's a, it's a wonderful opportunity and we're going to step forward. And, and I think in this year, we're going to grasp that and find our home in the future, in the, in the uh, virtual world and uh, go from there. And that's my take on what's happening. Is that it? Oh my gosh. I've never seen a district governor speak for such a small amount of time and stay on schedule. John, you're gonna do great, man. And inspirational too. I think that is phenomenal. And you know, I think the other thing is inspirational is what this club has done. As we look at clubs across our district, you see some, I don't know, y'all seem to like each other. And that's important. Uh, you go to some clubs, you just don't have that love of each other in that community. And as John said, Rotary was brought together because we had that desire for friendship and connection. But beyond coming together because we like each other, doing that good work, Y'all have done it in so many ways. And we're gonna talk about the Rotary Citation with the gold distinction achievements that y'all have earned, which is phenomenal for this year. But Alex, I know that you'd like to talk to our board and all they've done thus far, and you can call them out by name, Barrett and I can. So Alex, why don't you do that for us? Thank you, Bill. What I, part of what I wanted to do in this meeting is honor our existing board, no different than any board in the world, this has been a challenging year. <clears throat> we, we had a lot of plans. Our signature service project, the adoption awareness, we couldn't do. We had a number of major initiatives, but we persevered. Not only did we persevere, we went forward. And so as we close out this year and we move forward in the next, I do want to honor our board who had a lot of decisions to make. We got to learn a lot about text messaging, emails, you know, Zoom board meetings and everything. So, but first what I'd like to do is honor, you guys see it? Glenn Thornton, who not only is Glenn a two-time president, you know, this last time he kind of salvaged the club from a uh, difficult situation and then took us into greater heights. Then after he was past president, he stepped up to be club secretary. So the last two years in a row, and he's agreed to be my um, club secretary. And as anybody knows in our club, Glenn does everything. Uh, my, my other club, we, had a pay, we have a paid administrator that does all the back office stuff. 
And so the members don't really know what to do and how to do a My Rotary and Club Runner. We have Glenn not only doing it, but teaching us how, how to do it. Keeping track of Paul Harris, our donations, polio. It's just nobody knows how much he does because he doesn't talk about it. So the least I could do is give him a plaque. It's got two years. Jim Frankenfield will get you another one <laughs> when he does his installation. So yay, Glenn. <clears throat> Now, somebody else who stepped up. One of the toughest jobs in our club is what we call treasurer. But honestly, it was three jobs in one. They were the board treasurer, they were the club bookkeeper, and they handled registration. So it's just a painful you know, job. And nobody wants to do it because it's so hard. But we have Dick. Dick Rintella, who stepped, stepped up three years as our treasurer, he's finally resigning as treasurer, because if you think about it, three years doing three jobs, that's like nine years of work he did. It's kind of like cat lives. And so Dick deserves his retirement. I wanted him to do a 30 minute speech. He said, no, <laughs> he's good. So what I have here is a plaque for you, Dick, for your three years of being club treasurer. As we know, like you and Glenn, you've been in the club a lot of years, but these last three years have been very significant, and we appreciate that. I appreciate it, too. Clap, clap, clap. And so then, I also want to recognize another person who, what, I think two years into the club, she stepped up to be club president, did a phenomenal job. And then, as past president, we actually made money so we could cut checks. So we got to benefit a lot. So she was our benevolence chair, past president, active, and our membership chair. So I went now, what I heard, so Michelle is technically our past president, not technically, she is our past president this year, but what I'm awarding her is a plaque for her presidency year because I found out that she did not get one. And I'm not gonna give her a past president plaque because this is the one she really cares about. So I want to thank Michelle for doing a great job. We have a lot of guests in, the, in this meeting. What you don't know is our major fundraiser is the Plano Balloon Festival. And we've been doing it, oh my gosh, you guys, what? 40, <laughs> this, our club's 41 years and we've been doing it a long time. We are the oldest nonprofit vendor at the Plano Balloon Festival. Well, Michelle is gearing up for this great year and the Plano Balloon Festival got rained out. So not only did we not make the 20, 25,000 that we looked, we lost money. And so Michelle's whole year was rescuing our club with multiple service projects, engaging. I mean, the year that we had no money, we did 17 service projects. That's with a club of 22 members. That is amazing. And so then when I joined during that time, the only reason I joined is what a dynamic club. And that was at Michelle's leadership. So. We got to, you got to give a lot of hand to Michelle Thornton and the great job she did as when she was president last year and then past president this year. Her and her husband, Glenn, are the backbone of our club and I beg them to never, never, never leave. <laughs> or at least not in my year. <laughs> no, but they're awesome. And last and definitely not least, I want to honor our current president, John Costas. John stepped up. This is his second time as president. And he stepped up when their second restaurant had tornado effect, being president during Corona, having young kids, just being as busy as, oh, and then we meet at his restaurant and he's usually trying to serve his food while he's running a meeting. <laughs> it's like, go at the podium, we'll, we'll figure it out. So I want to give this plaque to John Costas for being our president this year. And our goal is to not make you or Glenn be president a third time, because <laughs> that means that we don't have other people in our club to step up. But I wanna thank the current board. We, we have done a lot, you know, as everybody knows, we're voting on our bylaws and constitution update um, next week. That was a six month process a lot of del deliberation with RI on it to make sure we got it right. We've introduced a lot of new concepts this year. We've had a lot of email votes. We have been serving with a lot of people in the community. 
and now they want to join our club. So that was a change in how we approach things and we see it working. And so I really want to thank this board for just being great leaders, great Rotarians, and continuing to be great leaders and great Rotarians. So thank you very much for the board of directors of 2019-2020. Everybody's muted so nobody can hear anything. There we go, I'll clap for everybody. <laughs> so with that, I'm gonna turn it back over to our masters of ceremony, Mr. Dendy. Well, thank you so much. And you know, I might've seen my wife come around the corner and say, what are you doing? I'm like, well, yeah, it's, it's, it's the, she said, I thought y'all were gonna be meeting at the Greek Isles. And I said, I did too, for the longest time. I sure miss those meetings and the good feeds. And John, phenomenal job. You and your family so take care of Rotary. You take care of the local community and you sure put out some good food. Y'all are phenomenal in your givingness and your dedication to making this club superior does not go unrecognized. In fact, but Bill, before you move on, I want to interject to tell you how giving that family is. We've had to have board votes to overrule John to make sure our club pays for things that they were going to give to us for free. <laughs> we're like, forget you. We vote. We need to pay what we use. That's how generous that family is. And John. I, and I love that. And that's what I see from a lot of Rotarians is we're just natural givers. And we want to give to those who don't necessarily need it. We're just givers. And that's good. Uh, I think that uh, many of us in our daily lives work with a whole bunch of takers. But to come every so often, once a week, to a group of people who are also givers who want to do some good, it is so uplifting. And that's one of the things I think is wonderful about Rotary is how uplifting it is. And I admire Alex for having done some good work. Uh, Y'all's club is probably going to receive the Rotary Citation with gold distinction. And a lot of that is just documenting all the good that's being done. And y'all are doing so much good. And one of those areas is in the area of youth services. I was so blessed having the job of working with the interactors this year. And here I see Zane on with us. That Zane was early to make sure we could do this technology right. Thank you, Zane. I finally had to move computers and everything. But Zane has been a phenomenal leader in our Interact world. And, and Julia is now with us. And Zane's going to continue as a member of this club. How phenomenal is that? And that having the Interact Club with Clark High School, the Rotaract Club with Plano Community, having done the RILA participation. I think y'all had more participants in RILA than any other club in our district. I'm not 100% sure, but y'all had at least, what, three, four? Four going to RILA. That's, I'm a believer in RILA. Years ago, I was not sure Rotary was gonna be right for me. I didn't feel connected with the, and this was 20 something years ago, I was kind of young and I, I wasn't feeling it until I got connected with our Rotary youth and the good work that we do. And if any of y'all have ever taken a student to Ryla, they go and they're not excited, but when you pick them up, it's a whole new person who's excited and they see the world differently, they see themselves differently, and they're never gonna go back to that old shy person that follows. They're gonna be those leaders of the future. And y'all are doing phenomenal work in those areas. And so I think it's neat that y'all have documented the service projects. And I know that the Bloom Festival, all right, it got canceled this year and didn't get rained out like two years ago. I mean, it's been a rough go lately, but you still did the adopt the highway. You still did the uh, uh, feed the homeless and y'all posted like 17 projects for the year. I love that. Alex, great job for making us do it, but John, phenomenal job. I mean, posting and documenting is key to a lot of the things that we're doing for rec getting the recognition you all already deserve. But John, great leadership. And I know the restaurant world does not give you much spare time. It's one of the hardest businesses anywhere. And you were able to continue to do that and give. And I've seen a lot of people who are some of the best givers in Rotary are some of the busiest people. They're busy with their families. They're busy with their careers. They have no time for anything. You wouldn't imagine they could do any good at all because they're so daggum busy, yet they're the ones that produce the successes. I think it's true that the busy people are able to fit things that are important in their lives always. And John, you've done that. 
You've led this club very well. And I hope that you'll continue to lead the club and be involved. And we understand that many of us are making sacrifices. And I'm hopeful that we continue to lead our district and to lead this club as we continue to find more young people. Julia, Zane, thank you for being here. Having phenomenal success. Zane, you led us to probably, I don't know, Alex, was it the largest leadership summit we ever had? Close to, yeah, it was, okay. Largest leadership summit, largest club in the Rotary world joining us as an Interact Club. We had so much good success. I don't think of our 61 clubs that we have a dozen that are gonna be receiving the Rotary Citation. I'm not sure. Beverly will know that. We'll talk about it at Wards. But very few clubs receive the citation, not because they're not doing the work, but because they may not be documenting it. But having the leadership and document is important. And I don't know if there are other clubs in Plano that are going to qualify this year, which is kind of funny, because I know we don't care about which club does the good work. But we do want to be the best rotary club in Plano, don't we? Oh, come on. I know it's the truth. They say, yeah, we're all friends and family here, but we are the best. No, it's funny. But I think that y'all will be the only ones this year. So I think that's another, I don't know, little achievement, a little thing to be Rotary proud of. But the cool thing with Rotary is it's friendly competition, and we still celebrate the accomplishments of others. So we have this long list of accomplishments. Uh, Alex, did you have any other accomplishments that lead up to that gold distinction for a Rotary citation that I failed to mention that you'd like to mention? Or John, I, you haven't spoken yet. Do you have any of those others that we should talk about? I'll just say something that's really amazing about this. Not a lot of people know, but our, because of COVID, uh, RI reduced the requirements uh, necessary to get a rotary citation. Normally, it's five out of the nine. They reduced it to three out of the nine. I didn't realize that until after we already documented it. So we actually achieved more than the normal one. We had seven and nine and nine and nine under two categories. So I think that's pretty impressive. Even with COVID, we lost a lot of what we planned on doing, activities, just like everybody. We still met the original <laughs> requirements. And, I'm, I'm, and that's this club. This club is just awesome. What we've done, and to let everybody know, we did this without even trying. We were not attempting to achieve a Rotary Citation. We did it by just doing what we do all the time. We did it last year, we did it the year before. Just this year we decided, let's go ahead and see how we line up with Citation. And we knocked it out of the park. So this club is awesome. That's why I joined it 18 months ago. And that's why I'm gonna be here for another 30, 40 years. Fantastic. And John, did you have some to add on to that? Uh, yes, that's, I wanted to thank everyone uh, for a great start to the year and for helping us to continue um, into the upcoming year. I know it was, uh, we just had to you know, pivot a little bit and change the way we do things, but, but it was kind of uh, inspirational to, to say that you know, we're not going to stop. It's not time to stop. It's the time just to adjust and figure out how we're going to move on. And, and, and that's what we've done. And, and we had to change some of the things we we're going to do, but we're still doing, we're just still being productive. We're still, we're still doing things. So that's, that's, uh, that's great and it's inspirational. And I want to thank, you know, of course, Michelle, Glenn, Fred, uh, Lisa. Lisa had a tough year. and She's coming back strong. Um, I'm very grateful for that. Very excited about that. And, of course, Alex. And I'm thankful for Dick for helping, like I said before, in so many different ways. And, and then just everyone else in the club just being very supportive and, and just looking forward to continuing with the club, doing great things. Fantastic. And, John, I know – that a busy person doesn't hit all those successes by themselves. It is that board that you empowered and you relied on to do the job. You may give direction and vision, but you have a lot of good people around you that are doing the work. And I think that this incoming board is gonna be standing on the shoulders of giants as y'all go even beyond in the next few years. And so I know that we're gonna have some new board members and Alex, you gave me a, a list of them, but it's Glenn Thornton as secretary. Alex is actually going to serve as the interim treasurer. And John, you're going to pass president. And Jim, president-elect. Oh my gosh, 
president-elect, and it already starts now. Jim, you've got to start now planning those next steps and, and moving things forward. I think that uh, you probably already have a plan in place, and we had a couple minutes for you to talk about, uh, as PE, what are you going to be doing this upcoming year? Well, first of all, I'd like to uh, thank John and his board for doing such a great job. They uh, maneuvered very well as we uh, hit some crisis here, whether it be uh, the pandemic or some of John's personal things with the tornado. We're incredible the way he maneuvered. And uh, to the board itself, they did a fantastic job this year. Uh, I'm honored to be a uh, Rotarian, and I thank John and uh, Don mainly for the ones that got me involved in this club, which is a bunch of uh, great guys and gals. Uh, my uh, aim as uh, president-elect this year is to listen, to learn, to support, and to participate. Those are my aims this year as we go forward and then come out. Alex is a great leader. He's got lots of good things in mind. I'm here to support him, be a backbone for him, and that's what I'm going to do. Uh, my forte is uh, action speak louder than words, okay, as we go forward. So I feel great about joining this great club. I feel I'm stepping up in the world by joining Rotary personally. And uh, it goes along with the uh, immortal saying of the words of Groucho Marx. I would never join a club that allowed me to be a member. But <laughs> I feel this is a step up and I'm glad to be here. I love it, Jim, and we're glad you're here. And I tell you, that's the kind of strength that we need to have. And, you know, I think it's amazing the amount of work that y'all produce for the size club you are. Oh, my gosh. And y'all are having to continue to do more work. I know that the focus is new members, and I think you're on to something bringing in the rotor actors because they're able to serve, and they're willing to serve, and they've got the energy to serve. So I, I, I hope that the club just – it continues to expand and we're able to do a whole lot more going forward because of it. But for all y'all that are doing repeat work, thank you. It's the way it is in a small club. We're all carrying a big piece of the load. For those of you who are looking for a club to join, a club that's got this much activity going on of this size, it's got great vision for the future. And so at this point, I'd like to install our incoming officers. I like just a show of hands, who all is serving as an officer this year? Look right at this. like Half the club here, right? Now, who all is going to do some work for Rotary this year in the club and support these officers? That should be all the other hands going up, Dick. I'm giving you some grief. Okay, I'm teasing you. Uh, but it's we, we can't do it alone. You need the support of everybody. And so the appropriate response as we do the installation from the officers, if you want to unmute, is we will, as we're going to do this installation in mass. But... To the incoming officers and incoming directors, you have been elected to the important positions in the administration of the Rotary Club. And this is an indication of the confidence your fellow Rotarians have in you and your abilities. They believe that you're gonna uphold the strong standards and the traditions of this club, and that you're gonna do your very best with the energy that God has given you both time, I should not say just both, it's time, physical effort, and other resources to continue to support the vision of Rotary International and the vision of the club. So my question to all y'all is, will you fulfill the responsibilities of your offices to the best of your ability and in accordance with the constitution and bylaws of this club? I will. I will. I will. I will. Phenomenal. And I also think it's kind of interesting, as I hereby declare the new officers and directors installed, to state that it's very interesting that Alex is talking about the rewriting of the Constitution and bylaws of this club. As I truly believe there is a need to re-examine most clubs, including most districts, manuals of procedures, bylaws, and constitutions. And I know John Moses is going to want to talk about that later on this year, I hope. But uh, it's an important thing that y'all live to that. And I think y'all are great by tackling that issue early on. What manual uh, procedures? 
<laughs> well, it's uh, might as well because I don't know. Sometimes it is, sometimes it ain't. Just do away with the whole daggum thing. That's a whole nother issue. That's what we're gonna do. With that, let us install our president, Mr. Alex Johnson. <laughs> Alex, you've been selected by the members of this club because nobody else is willing to do the job this year. Because you didn't show up to a meeting or you did something else that got you in trouble. And for that, I truly apologize to you. But now the mantle has been put upon you and you have accepted it. One too many Uzo shots. I don't know what it was, but you said yes. And you accepted the challenge. And so we expect you to be able to lead us and to show us the way to bring your rotary to the fruition of what it should be. So for the oath of president, please repeat after me. I, Alex Johnson. I, Alex Johnson. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will faithfully execute the office of president of my Rotary Club. That I will faithfully execute the office of president of my Rotary Club. And that I will, to the best of my ability. And I will, to the best of my ability. Give support and assistance to the district governor. That's for you, John. To give support and assistance to the district governor. And to Rotary International. And to Rotary International. And I will uphold the Constitution and bylaws of this club. And I will uphold the Constitution and bylaws of this club. Yeah. Well, I hereby do declare with the power which is past district governor, PDG. What does PDG stand for, John Mosier? Who power cares? done gone, PDG, power done gone. But with the power of the past district governor within our district, hereby declare the new officers and directors installed. And I give you the symbolic gavel. Are you supposed to reach, reach that side, take the gavel. Oh, that wrong side, right? Wait. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> Alex, please address your club. Thank you, everybody. I don't want to take too much time, but what I'd like to say is I love our club. We, we like I said, we qualified for a Rotary Citation Gold Distinction without even trying. And we could have did it the year before and the year before, but we didn't try. So it's really easy for me to be president of this club because we are what I call a true Rotary Club. We're service-based. We lead with service. You know, and that's what we're gonna move forward with next year. Uh, Michelle, Glenn, Clarence, Bianca, Zane, they are gonna be our committee chairs. And they're actually, and they're gonna have committees <laughs> with people. And we've already built up a number of the committees already. So we, I'm really proud of not only our board and our committee chairs, but our members that are on the committees and then our potential new members that are already getting involved on our committees before they've even joined the Rotary Club. Because that's what our strength has been, community outreach, working with our community to work <laughs> on our community. So with that, what I'd like to do is introduce each of our committee chairs. And like I said, these are committees, so we need more people on them. And the first one I'd like to introduce is Glenn Thornton. And Glenn's our chair of club administration. I want Glenn, he said he's got about a 20 minute speech. We all know Glenn talks a lot. So I asked him to keep it down <laughs> to at least, you know, a couple sentences. <laughs> yeah, no, not 20 minutes. So to me, it, I'm, you know, doing a lot of what I've been doing, but really focusing on some of the things that Alex wants to focus on this year, which is service projects, if we do almost better than almost anyone, we're gonna do more. And foundation, we've always been a part of that too, but we're gonna do a lot more training and a lot more involvement with what, what the Rotary Foundation is all about. So with communication as club admin, that's as key as ever, if not more so. So and it needs to be efficient. We don't wanna inundate the club and everybody else, but we want to have, we're already kind of redoing our website, our, our Facebook is up and running. The other, our other communication, is, is, that's gonna be key for us to be successful. That's some of the things, more than two sentences, sorry. 
That was great, Glenn. I'm gonna follow that up. You talk about communication. We have public image. Bianca is not able to be here today, but she's a soon to be new member when we vote on her next week, and as well as with our other potential new members, and she wants to be our public image chair. And so she's already been working with the district public image chairs, also with other, so she's learning the role to tie on to what Glenn said for communication. So our outward bound communication to the community, because we're reaching out to the community to serve with us, our public image has to be on target. So she's also even working with Pam uh, on that. So I'm really excited because we're gonna actually have a public image here. I don't know how many years has it been since we've had one, <laughs> a while. And she's working with the district already, working closely with Glenn. So we have that communication to talk about what we're doing. And we have, I mean, we even, just this last week, I had an interview with the Plano Star Courier about our senior citizens project. So that's what it's all about. So with that, Bianca's not here. So everybody say yay, Bianca. Um, I know she's reached out to a number of people for testimonials and to get to know you. Anybody that's interested in public image, marketing, talk to Bianca. She would love to have more people on her committee. And with that, I would like to bring up our new member, Clarence. He's going to talk about Rotary Foundation. Get that new member. There we go. First of all, uh, to the some of the newer members and prospective members, the Rotary Foundation is basically the essence of Rotary. And uh, it's what you put into it cash-wise and work-wise that makes it function. Uh, I was well aware of that. My father was a Paul Harris fella. The Paul Harris is a recognition of an individual who contributes $1,000 to the foundation. And they, of course, can do matching grants through the local club or on a national basis. And that's $1,000. It could be all at one time or it could be stretched out five years if you want to as you can afford it or what you want to do. But as I said, we will have a committee this year, and it will be consistent of Glenn Thornton, Ken Stone, Joy Hankelman, and Alex Johnson, all of who have had a, played a big part in our community and worldwide in nonprofits, getting the job done in our community where needed, and also overseas. Everything from wheelchairs to sedan to water wells, Africa, everything that we've been a part of. And of course, uh, when you become a Paul Harris, you can put on the deal here, uh, medallion, signification, that's recognition. Uh, we have a number of members that have, I think Glenn has six Paul Harris. Is this correct, Glenn? Or about seven? And people can do this uh, over a period of time. Dick has contributed quite a bit over the years to the foundation, which has really helped out a lot. But um, it's just significant uh, what can be done through the foundation. Kent is dedicated to doing so much as far as polio eradication. And that was a big project for so many years. My father was a Rotarian, uh, a vice a president of the club, vice president of the American pa Academy of Pediatrics. And I went along as a child with them to the first polio meeting in New York City uh, years ago to see what was going on and enjoyed that. But as I said, there's so much we can do through the foundation and through the club working together and service projects along that line, as well as fundraisers and individuals kicking in on their own what they'd like to do above and beyond the road to use. So I look forward to working to a very dedicated, experienced committee, and we appreciate what they do now. Thank you. Clarence, thank you very much. And we... We have five people on our foundation committee and we will take more. Because as Clarence said, the foundation is how we serve the world as well as locally and eradicate polio. So we, we always are looking for more members who wanna be involved in that. What I'd like to do now is we have two more committees that we're gonna cover. And I'd like to have Michelle talk a little bit about service project, which is her committee. Um, thank you, Alex. So um, in terms of service projects, I think the first thing I want to say is 
everybody in our club is on my committee. <laughs> so um, one, because it's going to take all of us to do the things that we want to, to do for the community over the year. Um, so part of that is just figuratively, we all want and should participate. But also because we're a small club, it's almost literally every person in the club is on my committee, just about. So um, <clears throat> if anybody has an idea for doing service projects, whether you're a member or not, I know we have some guests here. If you've got, got good ideas, please let me know. Uh, and we'll bring them to the committee um, or anybody else on the committee. I do want to highlight the, the, uh, some of the more official committees of service projects just so uh, you know other people who are involved here. So Lisa Leach um, has been involved in our international service projects. So if you got any ideas for international, please uh, get with Lisa. I, I know I would love to do an international project and I think we have some possibilities that could come up um, But yeah, talk to Lisa and let's let's get something figured out there. Um, I'm, I'm doing community uh, Service projects. So you've seen me do a couple of those lately and those have been mentioned earlier um, Youth services Fred is kind of heading up uh, a few different youth services um, projects uh, including his love, which is Ryla, the Rotary Youth Leadership Academy. I had to think about what that was stood for. It's awards. Award. Yeah. I just thought I'd say it because we were talking about Ryla, but some of our guests may not know what that stands for. So it's youth leadership. Um, uh, Ike is on, uh, is, on our, is our youth protection officer. That's a newer role that we have, and that's going to be important going forward. Um, Alex is still on Interact, which um, he's, he started working on as soon as we got him in the club, and we appreciate uh, what you've done there. I know Julia probably wouldn't be on this call, if it, uh, and Zane, maybe, if it weren't for you, Alex. <clears throat> um, Rotaract, we're going to be doing more with Rotaract, and we've got Vivi on here, so we're glad to have her. She's not uh, the chair, although, you know, what she could certainly participate, and, and we look forward to working with our Rotaract Community Club. Uh, and Rotary Youth Exchange, I know that kind of got shut down this year, uh, as I understand it, but um, Alex will be helping us if we get to do that next year. Um, veterans, uh, veterans are important to us um, and uh, to Rotary, big Rotary, and also to our club. And Don Malore is our Veterans Service Project Lead. Um, John Costas is going to be helping us with all of the blood drives that we do with our club and other Plano clubs. And even at the district level, if there's something that comes up, I'm sure he'd help with that. And then um, fundraising, we've got Fred on pecans. And also I just wanna, let me see, where is, where's Mike? There's Mike. Okay, Mike, he's chewing, but um, yeah. Uh, our fundraisers are really important. And Mike has done a fabulous job with the um, Plano Balloon Festival for many years before I came on board and I've learned a lot <clears throat> from working with with Mike and and all that goes into that and uh, you mentioned earlier even though my even though my year it got rained out we still had to set up and we still had to tear down and Mike is an excellent leader for that and I'm I'm also thankful that during John's year um, Mike led us through a successful uh, fundraising event the funnel cakes because I got to spend the money with the benevolence committee so anyway that, that I mean everybody else is involved with all those service projects too and keep it coming we want to get a lot done Alex wants two projects a month so well thank you Michelle very much and I want to add some new um, areas under service projects that we're looking at is with our soon to be new member Joy and she's got a tiny bit experience with seniors we're going to <laughs> put together a team to look at senior opportunities that we could get more involved. The, the amount of people that got involved in that, the nursing home project, given that it was last minute, like I said, we had 25 people, 20 not even in our club, and there's a lot of need. And Joy <clears throat> is actually talking to her staff to help us identify some opportunities. We have some of our uh, potential newer members um, David Evans and Tamara Thomas, they're going to help us uh, with our Rotary Community Corps that we're looking at to focus on the Douglas community, which is 
We have a number of members of our club that have served in the Douglas community over the years. It's amazing. When they, every time I talk to somebody, they're like, oh yeah, we did this in the Douglas community. Well, now we're going to try to formalize it, uh, working with the community themselves and have them, them identify what their needs are that we can help. And they've already had those identified. They've, got a, <laughs> they've been working on it for 30 plus years. So we're just going to help them. So we have a lot going on. Like, and so I know Michelle didn't say it, because she's service project chair, she's not responsible for all those things we talked about. That's why we have club members as chairs. So if it's service, you know, international, go to Lisa, youth, go to Fred, you know, go to those particular people. Michelle's kind of like the conductor of the orchestra there. So that's what makes our club really great. Now, last but not least, we have one more uh, committee chair, and this is with another soon to be member, it's, I want to introduce, we all know Zane Carlson, and he is going to be our membership chair. And so I will let Zane take a, share a few words, few, because we're down to our last five minutes. Yeah, um, hello everyone. Um, I have contacted a lot of you individually to get your opinions on the club, and so um, I'm excited to form a, you know, membership strategic plan using all of your feedback and, um, you know, working with all the tools that Rotary has to try and further our membership forward for the next year. Um, so we're going to be taking on a lot of like new initiatives, bringing in uh, younger people, which I'll talk about next week. Um, so we'll have a lot of initiatives to really boost membership, especially in um, areas where we need to be more diverse. So uh, I'm excited to be a part of that. Thank you, Zane. And as he said, I, he's reached out to everybody in the club. I think he probably has about an 80% response rate. So if you have not responded to Zane, shame, shame, respond. <laughs> send him an email, send him a text, because we'd love to have, he's doing a vocational study, he's doing a membership study all combined. So we'd like to have as complete as we can be. So um, keep on doing what everybody's doing. So with that, you guys have now just met our leadership team going forward. And we have the board, we have our committee chairs, we have a lot of people on the committees. I, I joined this club because it was a great club and it did great things. And I just want to help it continue to do great things going forward. And so thank you very much. And I would like to turn this over to our Masters of Ceremonies. Thank you very much. And you guys, as I look at all y'all, I see a club that's getting ready to ignite. I don't think we got a more diverse group in the whole of our Rotary District. As I see Vivi online, Vivi, it's always good to see you, and Julia, and Zane, and everyone here. This club is going to the moon. Put on your spacesuit, let's go. Because there is so much that can be done, y'all should be able to bring in members and continue to do the good work in the community. I have a Paul Harris Society, uh, Paul Harris, honorary Paul Harris, for our outgoing president, John Costas. John, I'll get this to you. I'll come by and see if we can line that. But thank you so much for your good work that you've done. I think, and I know it's just points, but it's a symbol of the goodness we do. And in this world, the best we get is a thank you. When someone takes the time to say thank you for serving and helping out, that is the joy that we get as Rotarians because there isn't a whole lot of money in this, is there? Any of us getting paid for this time we put in? I don't think so. We're doing this because we love our communities, we love the world at large, we wanna do some good in the world, we wanna live a life that's bigger than just us. And Rotary provides us that structure in which we can live that bigger than us alone life. And I'm grateful for the jobs that I've had with y'all. I think the next year is gonna be great under the leadership of Alex and John Mosier. John Mosier's a very smart man. I mean, heck, he asked me to do international service coordination. Guys, I hope that y'all take a trip with us to Cozumel and see the oxygen concentrator that y'all are gonna help install. I hope you'll take the trip to India with us and look at the kidney dialysis machines we're gonna do. And I hope that before the end of next year, we'll be able to get back into Cuba and some of the countries that we've been not as welcome in lately. There's so much good that's gonna go on next year. And John, thank you for the job. And you know- hey, Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's not all. What else, John? What else, man? Youth. 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 Yes. I'm so grateful that we'll get another 
year doing interact work. So much we wanted to do, we didn't get done. But Julia said, don't worry, Zane kicked it off. I'm gonna go ahead and take this thing across the goal line. And I'm so excited, Julia, with what we're gonna do next year with the youth. It's wonderful. We got Rylarians working with and moving up to Rotaract. I love doing the youth. But you know the job I really wanted, the only job I ever wanted within district was foundation. I think our Rotary Foundation is the heart of our organization. And y'all plugged in to get to the resources, to do the good work, and to distribute that. It's so valuable. And y'all are talking all the right talk. Y'all have a game plan in place, and I would love to help you execute it in any way I can. And you know you got John Moji, you got me in your corner, but it's y'all that are going to do the work. We're your cheerleaders. We're your humble servants, and we stand by ready to serve you guys as you lead into greatness. God bless you. That's all I got, John. Uh, that's all I got, Alex. Alex, why don't you just round us up and adjourn this meeting? Thank you very much, Bill. You are amazing. Before we do the four-way test, I want to remind everybody next week, we have a lot of voting to do. We, we're gonna have the Young Adult Initiative presented by Bianca and Zane. Definitely wanna be there. These two are ready to boost our young membership in our club. And then two, we have to vote on our bylaws, our constitution, and five new members. So we need people to show up. It's gonna be an exciting way to end the year, and we're gonna start the year off great. So let's end this meeting with the four-way test. And you guys should be seeing it. You see it? Awesome. So I will lead it off. Of the things we think, say, or do. First, is it the truth? The truth. Second, is it, is it fair, fair and all concerns? Third, will, will it build, build goodwill will and better friendships? Fourth, will, will it be beneficial, beneficial to all concerns? Rotary. All right, everybody. Thank you very much for being at our club installation. And we want everybody to be really involved next year. I apologize for going a minute over. I broke my cardinal rule. Everybody have a great day and a great week. Bye-bye. Ring that bell, man. Congratulations. Y'all take care. Ciao, ciao.